Tom Brady retired last season, leaving the Bucs with a need for a franchise quarterback. Baker Mayfield is out here proving why the Bucs may not have that need anymore. Hello and welcome to Point of View. I am Logan Hansen. Before I get started, let me just say we always love hearing feedback from you all and getting comments just like this one. Also, be sure to stay tuned to the end of the episode to see if you can guess today's trivia question down below. Today's topic, do the Buccaneers have the best quarterback situation in the NFC South? Don't look now, but the Bucs currently sit in first place in the division with four games left in the season. This is due in large part to the play of their signal caller, Baker Mayfield. Mayfield has had his up and downs in his career from Rookie of the Year performance in 2018 and leading the Cleveland Browns to their first playoff victory in 25 years in 2020, to being traded to the Carolina Panthers, being cut, picked up by the Los Angeles Rams, and being released again. However, Mayfield may have found a home in Tampa Bay. Tampa Baker has been on an incredible run in his first season with the Bucs and is on pace to have the second most yards in his career, while his QBR and passer rating are the third highest in his career. But that doesn't tell the whole story. Over the last four games, he's 3-1 with the only loss coming against the Philadelphia Eagles and has thrown seven touchdowns and just two interceptions with almost a 70% completion percentage and a 101.5 passer rating. He's also added a different culture to the Buccaneers locker room, leading the team to its second last second victory of the season after having just two in his career prior to the year. Here's what tight end Kate Otten, who caught Baker's game winner, had to say about the quarterback. He's just a competitor. You know, I've, I've said it before, it's who he is, is kind of the identity we're taking as a team. You know, we, we believe, we compete, we fight, and you know, we're, we're gonna make plays at the end of the day. And so uh, just having that belief throughout these games, every single play, uh, it's gonna put us in a good spot. Now we know Baker is an emotional guy. There have been countless sound bites and clips of his aggressiveness and energy as a quarterback, even from back when he was at Oklahoma. However, here's how that mindset shows up on Sunday. Just look at the aggressiveness and unwillingness to quit on this run. He's clearly a leader the team can rally around. He also shows respect to his teammates through his actions, as he even helped up Falcons defender Jesse Bates before he began celebrating. Here's what Baker had to say about the mentality he likes to bring to his team. It's just a mentality to, to not be denied, uh, to be persistent in it, and just go, go after your goal. Tampa Bay is the current betting favorite to win the division, what would be its third straight title, and with good reason. While Mayfield may have been casted out of Cleveland and not given a chance to blossom in other cities, it appears he is once again a quality starting quarterback in the NFL, and the Buccaneers will continue to benefit from that. Do you think Baker has turned it around for good? Or do you think this is just a flash in the pan? Let me know in the comments. Also feel free to check out this video on the Orlando Magic's hot start to the season. Here's the answer to that trivia question that I teased earlier, and thanks for watching. As always, BVM fam, I'm Logan Hansen, and we'll see you next time.